decided, I presume, at some point that he was the one who would come back to the WWE today. And he made that a major announcement by jumping the barriers and taking him out of the elimination, which potentially could have seen him become the WWE World well, Heavyweight Champion. Um, so, he, is he the one you really, really wanted? Another test. And what? When I left CPW, I had an unfinished business. I made no secrets about the fact that I was going to burn down the thing. You, you know, and you were in my position. I had the opportunity to sit in the ground as a fan. Wrongly or rightly, I should have been placed in a bit of a better seating, but we'll leave that for another conversation. And when you have time to observe, I highlighted you for one reason, as I've raised already. In this whole place, I see you as the biggest enabler for the actions of the CPW Galaxy. Whilst I was sat in that crowd, not as an active superstar, but just as a fan, I still had all the abuse. Unwanted. I was there to watch a show like everybody else. But I watched them still cheer you, no matter what, despite the man that I know you are, and I know what you've done. It had to be you. There was nobody else. It had to be you. I know in order to get at them, I had to get at you. And I know exactly how to get at you from the off. I just love that because um, uh, some would say you need, what he's just laid out there is, is factual. You know, we're not going to sit here and say, and if he hasn't he'd had that thought process, he's getting the galaxy and sees you as the one who uh, he must topple to topple them. Well, one thing you have made very clear on it is true. You want to get to that, you get through me. But you won't get through me because you see there's a difference. I've evolved over time. From when I was 10 years old to now being 20, I know what it is to be that big time. I know what it is to be the man. And that is what I almost was. I almost was CPW World Heavyweight Champion. And you cost me that. It's like you're trying to ride my coattails to get to the top. I mean, you came at me when I was next-gen champion, and then when it looked like that second when I was going to become champion, you took it away again. It's no secret that you're the galaxy's golden boy. Some might argue that you're the voice of the galaxy. You mentioned that the galaxy almost swallowed me whole once upon a time. So what better way to silence the galaxy than to silence the voice? If you think that was detrimental to my progression here before, silence my one and only distraction, take that out of the equation, the sky's my limit. So for all this, you know, uh, puffing your chest out talk that he's doing, his dad is your family as well. Uh, He's got Axel going on side. Is he all that he says he is, or the fact that he's had to bring him out to battle your, your whole family, which is, you know, as you just said first hand, you know, to burn everything down that he's created, and just lose his family. Um, what do you think? More thing is this. You tried, like I say, to destroy more of that tackle. You tried to take him out. My little brother came in. You tried to take him out, but then when it came to me and you, you couldn't take me out. And in the end, we all walked your ass and you went crying and running away. So you had to bring someone in. And one thing I will give you that's quite clever. You didn't just get some random person in. You got a guy who was arguably one of the best to do it here at one point. Your initial trainer? 100%. Back in the day, he was my first ever trainer. But even with that, when I, I faced him when he came back. I faced him and... You know something, he couldn't even beat me, he had to hit me straight in the bollocks. He couldn't pin me to the mat. And that says something. Is, is, is the kitchen got too hot for you, Josh, and you had to go out and acquire um, actually go own services? Because the frying pan is, is bubbling and ready to burn the whole kitchen down. Is that the reason? You had to bring in, that's what I can handle it. As I said, nothing happens without a reason. Do you not think I was aware that he was a man of change? Do you not think that he has information to share with me? 
on you. Despite, despite the fact that I've already beaten you, that it adds more fuel to the fire on my side. side. The more information I have on you, the better. The easier ride I have. Do you not think that three on one, I'm smart enough to know that I need to even the odds? Yes, it's true. I keep the shit out of your dad and your brother, and yes, you managed to get the job from me at the point that it was three on one. You've been in the ring alone with me. You know how that ends. Families, you go, Jay. Is it the epic? You say how calculated he is, let me just look at Devil's Advocate. He took you to a place where your mind can't focus on the, the actual match on Saturday. More bothered about everything, your family, you know, you had to travel. You focus. He sounds very, very focused and deliberately calculated in what he's saying. This is phenomenal, isn't it? The mind games that all the psychological play you're doing here, I applaud you for. But there's one thing you don't realise. You're saying you're getting this information from actual Bowen. He has not made me the man I am today. Okay, he took a little part of that, but I've many other people I've picked brains. One person in particular is this man here. Now, this man has taught me a lot about the business, and one thing he's taught me is to never back down. So, being focused, I am focused, not just for myself, but I am representing the Morris name when I do this. You see, him being focused right now is his, his, his mannerisms, behaviour, you know, the way his heart looks here. Is that a bit of a calm, calculated, focused thing? I think you're trying to convince yourself. I think you know the truth. You've been more concerned about what's going on with your dad and with your brother, with your mum. Even the mere mention of that, look at your face right now. And you know, this was always going to come around, but seeing as he's brought it up, Katie, your mum, um, slapped Josh, admittedly, but um, how does that sit with you? It cannot sit right, surely. It's your mum after all. Well, I mean, you did deserve that slap. I will give her that. But even you mentioning my mum and what you said, saying you'd slap her back into the kitchen, listen. You can say what you like, but actions speak louder than words, and that's real. History 11, not one. This is arguably the biggest match on the card. And I know what it takes, and I know the situation I am in. I know I've got to focus, I've got to try and be at my best. Because at the end of the day, for me, I've got one goal in this match, and that is to prove to you, you ain't burning nothing that I've built down. Can we just say, slap is going back into the kitchen. No offense, I'm laughing at this, he, he seems like he's pulling your strings right now. He's, he does, is he the puppet master of, of BMF, Morris? I can guarantee you this. You, with the psychological side and being the puppet master, I've cut them strings very easily because I have one goal, and that goal was to destroy everything you're saying. I mean, you're saying you're going to come in here, basically take over what I've built, and you can't do that. And I can tell you what, because I will not give up. I will not stop until what I've done happens. You said it earlier, is he trying to convince himself? Is that what we're hearing? Are we, are we listening to a man who, who just isn't friendly, who is unsure, who doesn't feel he's capable? Is that what we're listening to right now? You sound like a man that's in denial. Whether you realise it or not, this is the beginning of your downfall. And I'm going to be the man to you today. All this 